Hello, welcome to a new Animalica video. I just arrived to Burning Sands because last time I went here I've seen a few enemies and when I thought I dealt with all the enemies in a map I'm usually wrong. I keep seeing enemy spawns and I've seen a few here left to be destroyed and that's what I'm gonna do today on this video and I'm looking for my horse Fortunately, I have the rudder and the horse is showing up, actually an horseshoe that points where my horse is, is in this direction, but what the hell is the horse doing in this direction? It should be here. <laughs> so let's go there. Before trying to kill anything that's left on this map, I have been here for few times already I actually you know I see a little dot in the distance I think it's an enemy spawn yes it's an egg well a monster spawn but the horse is in this direction weird uh, I know that one of the times that I went back here it was like in front of a pyramid on the pyramid that you can enter but in this direction. I don't really remember what happened. It's annoying to roam around without a horse. Oh, this thing. I don't think this is nothing for me. Nope. I think I've already looted this. Yes. I don't remember what it contained, but maybe something precious. What's good in this map is that you will be finding several random coin chests in the ground, in the sand. And you'll be getting some gold after a trip. Oh! There it is, the horse! What is it doing there? I don't remember of going out of this map and leaving the horse, like almost in the front of an enemy spawn. How the hell did it get there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> in a way, good, I found it and it's not bugged. There's a gold ore. Mine it before killing that thing. I've been looking for these beasts for a while. Because I need their heads to trade with the animal trader for some monsters. I like to have monster pets. And I was looking for these guys for a long time. <laughs> Good, there's no recall. The thing on this sniper is that the scope, your mouse sensitivity goes up. A lot and it kind of slips my mouth actually I can farm this spawn I'm not gonna destroy it if I loot this a monster now a new one will be respawning or new ones will so what I'm gonna do is to close, put some fences around so I can keep looting the same beasts over and over because I don't know how many are left in my saved game M maybe very few I destroy them all or almost okay let's loot that thing Oh, grading kit. I don't think these portals have any use yet. I wonder if they will do something with this. Because this doesn't look like it's for decoration only, you know. Here in the desert, a futuristic looking thing. Yeah. Okay, I got another Gorhound head. I need a few more. 
So let's see if it will respawn. Oh crap. <laughs> Corrupted art. Oh, this one didn't drop a hand. Maybe because it dropped the mutated DNA sample instead, but it should be dropping a hand. I'm not sure. It dropped one corrupted art. Once you kill a, a monster enemy with the tranquilizer arrow, you'll get mutated DNA samples. This will be useful for when you go to the lab and want to make some genetically modified plants for your base. I don't want to remove the fences. So I can just keep farming this thing here. Yeah, now I got a few more materials and another head. So I'm gonna keep farming this place eventually. I think it's easy to find things on this map, so I'm not gonna even mark this with a campfire, which should be a good idea, marking the places with campfires because it, they will appear in your radar so you'll be getting to the point of interest way faster by following the radar than the fires appear on the radar so okay there's a coin chest in here I'm gonna pick this up so I have currently 818 golds if I get this chest I'll be having Yes, that's what I thought. It gives you around 20 more coins, usually. Okay, I'm seeing another egg in the distance. We'll be getting there soon. This will make a weird noise once it's destroyed. Yes, exactly. Purple, black, disgusting slime. I have plenty of these in my base, but I keep collecting stuff. We never know when we need it. it. Keeps getting damage. It's easy to be killed now. See? Not gonna loot it yet. As it will respawn until I kill their spawn. Let's just shoot them. Of course. It's in the distance. Oh damn, someone is calling me. One second. Okay, my mom calling me as usual. So let's destroy this enemy spawn. I got some more disgusting slime. And I'll be getting monster scales from this and corrupted hearts. Collect as many as you can so you can get a special thing from one of the traders. You may need only about 300 hearts. I may be having now almost 400. I've already spent 300 hearts in the past. So imagine the amount of enemies that I've already killed on my save game so far <laughs> and also <laughs> how many hearts I've collected I'm a horrible heart collector yes <laughs> so let's find more oh a house what are these guys doing here they were meant to be in the sands. These are some kind of viking warriors. But it looks like you will be finding any kind of enemies in, in any place almost. Yeah. But they are usually in maps like Green Hills, Amber Hills. We 
we can put them down. You can also find these in a settlement in Akali Desert. Oh, they are a few. Yeah. Oh, this one is down. They are actually weak. The looks are deceiving. <laughs> okay. Right, I think I put them all down. Let's destroy this spawn. Oh no, there's still one left. Let's see if this building has some loot. Nope, of course not. So let's put this spawn. Okay, this was their spawn. Now let's loot the bodies. They usually don't drop anything special. Animal hide and leather. <laughs> Still in good and feather. Feathers. Leather straps, metal shards, and arrows. Okay, cool. Let's get her more gold. Yeah, this is all I got. I got these green warrior badges when I destroy their enemy spawn. Sometimes you get this when you destroy enemy spawns. Not really those purple green eggs from the monsters usually, but other kinds of enemy spawns you'll be getting probably some warrior badges. And sometimes you get even these badges from the enemy corpses. You will also be needing these badges to trade with the trader, okay. And the crossbow acts slower than the compound bow, but the compound bow will do less damage. Well, sometimes they do the same damage, I just... I don't know anymore. <laughs> okay. nests here yeah with these crazy giant zombie chickens things <laughs> yeah actually I have 141 tranquilizer arrows I didn't notice these were tranquilizer arrows since they changed the looks of them I kind of I'm gonna kill this with some tranquilizer arrows. Maybe I should use a normal arrow first and then a tranquilizer uh, one, so I will save some tranquilizer arrows. Let's 
kill their spawn. The only thing special that these drop are just corrupted arts and feathers. I got plenty feathers on my base, so... <laughs> And I got the mutated DNA sample for some GMO plants. Yeah. Great, we're getting a good amount of hearts in just one trip. Oh, this is a dark shard. These things are extremely rare. Let's pick this up. Okay, Dark Soul Shards. These are extra rare. <laughs> I swear I went a few times around the map, but I haven't seen everything, it seems. Another rusty sword. I think you can use it for ritual fires. That can be used as a fast traveling item. Okay, another shard. Great. This is used for upgrading tools or weapons. Oh wait, this is a... This is a strange box. I need this. I need to collect more of these to buy more demonic cats from the trader. I already got one, but I want all the cats. Why am I not searching for enemy spawns close to the pyramids? Because I've been there a few times, so I've cleaned that area. Well, at least I'm almost sure of that. Seafood, dog food, don't... I got dog food. Uh, <laughs> you want... <coughs> well, a friendly advice. Do not eat dog food. Oh, so many dead trees. These are the trees that you should try to chop. And not the living trees. A few more demon wolves. I thought I've cleaned everything. Nope. Just 
jump over them, really. <laughs> it turns everything easier. Too bad I can not have one of these from the animal trader. Only gar hounds and hell hounds. And some of them in rare colors and patterns. I have a zebra pattern one. But it would be cool if we could get from them these devil wolves too. I may suggest that to the devs. Okay, I was kinda lost for a second. Okay, there's the balloon. You know, I don't know if I randomly will still find an enemy spawn, but... Oh, okay. We got two dromedaries here. I got already plenty of these yeah, dromedary camels. These are infected, so I have to cure and tame them. I've got several camels from here before, so I'm surprised if I see some of them still roaming around here. Oh, I'm using the tranquilizer ones. It's fine, but then I won't be getting monster scales. Even though the only thing that I can remember that I've needed these monster scales was for upgrading my armor, my clothes. And I have now the full defense. The thing is that I already got plenty of these monster scales in one of my base containers. But I won't be selling them because we never know what will change next in the game. And you may need these things for... Oh, a wildflower here. Wild seeds, I've been collecting these to get more natural enrichments for my base. Like trees, bushes that you can buy from a trader so you never know what you will be needing these things for in the future so that's why you know just keep as many things as you can at least the, the things that you find kind of special that you won't probably find anymore in a while so Right, I think I'm finally done on this map for now. I'm gonna get back to my base. Let's go and slice land. Right, I'm back to my base and this is all I got from the burning sands. At least it looks more clean now. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon.